Good day. Welcome to Partaker's Friday Prayers on Friday, the 30th of September 2011. Come, let's pray together. Father, as we commence, may our hearts and minds be right before you. May your everlasting mercy, grace and love be shown in hearing these petitions. Praise to God the Father sing, praise to God the Son our King, praise to God the Spirit be, now and through eternity. Amen. Now let's have a short time where you can offer your own praise and thanks to God for things that are on your own mind and heart. If for some reason words are failing you, simply pray, Lord God, I lift up thanks and praise to you alone. Hallelujah. Father, accept these praises as sweet-smelling perfume. Amen. We come now to praying for the needs of these individuals. Pam, Kerry, Claire, Denise, Peter, Christine, Nicole, Melinda, Bob, Jane, Joy, Ruth and Doug. O oh, great God our provider, we ask for a healing touch and wisdom for the medical staff who are treating them. We pray especially for Sarah, who is seeking direction in life as her work plans have gone awry. We pray that she will find a job which she can physically and mentally manage. Father, be the strength for all those who are grieving and mourning the loss of loved ones. O oh, great God, we pray that those in despair will be helped, and where there is darkness, there will be light. O oh, Lord God, give strength to the weak. Finally, Father, we lift before you all those facing challenging situations, such as loneliness, confinement at home, geographical isolation, lack of employment, health issues, and financial pressures. O oh, Father, please meet their needs in whatever challenging situations are being faced, and we put ourselves in your hands to help meet those needs where and when we can. We ask these things, our Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now there will be a short time of prayer where you can give to God things that are on your own mind and heart. And if, for some reason, words are failing you, then pray this short prayer based on Psalm 40. O oh God, help and deliver me from this pit, for I am poor and needy. Let's continue praying. Father, we pray that your love will take over our lives. 
We also pray that we would follow you faithfully, live lives obedient to you, and give praise to you alone in all circumstances we face. Lord, in your mercy, hear these prayers of your children. Amen. We now pray for church services around the world this weekend. Our Father God, we lift before you all those who are preaching, leading, serving and participating in church services around the world this weekend, both up front and in the congregation. We ask that the Holy Spirit would guide their minds and that the worship would be in spirit and in truth and that your word is faithfully preached. For those in countries where to meet other Christians is illegal or not condoned by the government, we ask that you continue to strengthen, guide, uplift and grow them. Let them know through your spirit, the spirit that lives within all believers, that we are praying for them. Amen. Father God, we now lift this troubled world to you. From your wellspring of mercy, hear these petitions and cries. May justice and peace come to places where injustice, strife and conflict currently dominate. Where there is chaos, bring order. Where there is hatred, may love be sown. We pray that in areas of need following natural disasters, such as earthquakes and famines and uh, hurricanes, that aid will get through and infrastructure rebuilt. Lord, in your mercy, Hear these prayers of your children. Amen. Finally, we close with this prayer of great praise. O oh, Father, may it be that your love takes over our lives, that we would follow you faithfully as your church. May we give to you alone praise in all circumstances we face together. We ask all these things, O oh, Father, through the majestic name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, who lives inside us. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partaker's Friday Prayers. See you again real soon.